What's up everyone, Hunt Eat Ambassador Rich Malloy here. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make my version of venison barbacoa. We're gonna use the Traeger, we're gonna give it a little bit of smoke, we're gonna braise it, pull it, throw it in some tacos. Let's go. So remember during the hunting season when you took all that time to clean this up and turn it into burger? I promise you, you'll never do that again. I'm gonna put this venison shoulder into the Traeger at 200 degrees for about three, four hours before I set it into the oven and braise it. Let's talk a little bit about the ingredients that we're gonna use for today's venison barbacoa. We've got some chipotle peppers, some guajillo and pasilla, some arbol and some Szechuan for a little bit of mouthfeel. Some nice acid with our blood orange. I got thyme, two anise pods, coriander, cumin, paprika, clove, caramelized onions. Really important because of how acidic this dish can get. We want to bring out a little bit of sweetness or add a little bit of sweetness with our caramelized onions. Chipotle's in adobo. This is going to bring out a ton of smoke and add that nice garlic flavor. We've got lime juice from, this is probably four or five squeezed limes, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and then we're going to top off that liquid with venison stock and then whatever red wine we need. I want all these flavors to come together in that braising liquid, right? So I'm gonna take all this stuff and just throw it right into my stock. And then this is gonna go into my Traeger and just come together as that shoulder's getting some smoke. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of mustard as a binder. Not too much, a little bit of salt of my blend. I just want to rub that in. That is our rubbed venison shoulder. Okay, right into the trick we go. All right, low and slow, three hours, 200 degrees, and then into the oven for four to six hours. My venison shoulder has smoked for about three hours at 185 to 200 degrees. My next step is to take my braising liquids that I had in the smoker and put that through a strainer. And I took all of those ingredients out of the braising liquid so I separated all the small stuff into these little tiny coffee filters. Typically you would use cheesecloth here, but I didn't have any cheesecloth, so this is what we're doing. This is gonna kind of help permeate that that broth, that braising liquid in back into the dish. So there's Szechuan peppercorn, chipotle, garlic, anise, blood orange, all in these bags. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit this inside the oven at 275 degrees for four hours maybe, five hours until it's done. This is going to fall apart when it's done. You just have to give it the time. And now I'm gonna add in a little bit of red wine all over it. Okay, just to pick, pick up that liquid a little bit. Okay, see you in a little bit. So now that our venison has braised for five hours at 275, you guys can pull that bone out like you just saw, and then you can just start separating these muscles piece by piece, and then you're gonna work that sauce back into it. You set it overnight, eat it the next day, or you can eat it immediately. The longer it sits in that braising liquid, the better it's gonna taste. There you have it, venison barbacoa tacos. Dig in, dress them how you like. You got a little bit of cilantro sauce, a little bit of sour cream, some blood orange, got some sweet reaper hot sauce, but there you have it. Thanks again, guys, for following along. Until next time.